So in this video, we've got an egg packaging firm has introduced a new box for its eggs. Each box holds six eggs. Unfortunately, it finds that the new box tends to mark the eggs. Data on the number of eggs marked in 100 boxes is collected. It is thought that the distribution may be modelled by the binomial distribution. Carry out a test at the 0.5% significance level to determine whether this is the case. OK, so now we're on to the binomial distribution. Um, we still have the same problem uh, that we did with the Poisson distribution in that we don't know what are the parameters. So with the Poisson distribution, we didn't know lambda. We could estimate that using the mean. In this case, we don't know the probability p. We know n is 6 because it's going from 0 up to 6, but we don't know p. So what we'll do first is we will estimate the mean from this data. So menu number 6, one variable. Let's type it in. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 3, 3, 27, 29, 10, 7, 21. Okay, so we get a mean of 3.45. So x bar is 3.45. Now, we know that the expected value of a binomial distribution is n times p. Okay, so 3.45 has got to be equal to n times p. Now, n, remember, is 6. So P is going to be 3.45 divided by 6. And that's 0.575. OK, so we now have the binomial distribution. That's what we're working with. OK, so number observe frequency 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we're going to need to go a little bit further aren't we because we're going to need the expected frequency 3 3 27 29 10, 7, 21. OK, so the expected frequency, I'm going to need to find the probability of x being equal to 0, and then times that by 100. And that's going to get me my expected frequency in here. Now, probably the easiest way to do that would be to use the formula, I guess. So. We're going to have NCR, so 6C0, times by 0.575 to the power of 0, times by 0.425, so 1 take away P, to the power of 6. And then I need to times that by 100, don't I? Right, so we get 0.5 eight nine three right now I need to do it with one right we get four point seven eight three seven seven eight three seven yep right change it to two All right, 16.1802. All right, let's go to three. Twenty-nine point one eight seven seven. All right, let's go to four. Twenty nine point six one seven zero. All right, five. Seventeen 
16.0280. And now with 6, I don't need to do anything special. I just work out the probability of x being equal to 6, because remember, this is a binomial distribution, not Poisson. So the Poisson distribution example, just you have to find probability of x being greater than or equal to 6 in this case. But that's going to be the same as probability of x being equal to 6 for the binomial model. So that makes it a little bit easier. 3.6142. Right, OK. So, problems then. OK, uh, problems are that we've got three expected values up there that are less than five. So it makes sense to combine those two together and those two together. That will get me expected values greater than 5. 0 0.5893 plus 4.7837. So 5.373. And 16.0280 plus 3.6142. So 19.6422. Okay. Okay. Right, now the observed frequency, take away the expected frequency squared, divided by the expected frequency. So the observed frequency here is 6, combine those two together. So 6 take away 5.373 squared, divided by 5.373. And I get 0.073. Right, then we've got 27, take away 16.1802 squared, divided by 16.1802. 7.235. Then we've got 29, take away 29.1877 squared, divided by 29.1877. So 0 0.001. Ten take away twenty nine point six one seven zero squared divided by twenty nine point six one seven zero. So that's twelve point nine nine three. And then the last one, the observed frequency is twenty eight. Take away nineteen point six four two two squared divided by nineteen point six four two two. And we get 3.556. So the chi-squared statistic, 0.073 plus 7.235 plus 0.001 plus 12.993 plus 3.556. Uh, 23.858. Right, okay, so the null hypothesis would say the number of marked eggs can be modelled by a binomial distribution. And H1, the number of marked eggs cannot be modelled by a binomial distribution. Distribution, just about fit in there. OK. Now, um, the number of degrees of freedom. So the number of degrees of freedom, uh, we originally had seven columns, but we had to combine some. So we reduced that down to one, two, three, four, five. So there are five columns. We take away the fact that we've got the estimator parameter. So we've got to take one away for that. And we've got to take away one because of the number of columns. 
And so we get 3 at the 0.5% significance level. The critical value is... So we go to page 13 of the OCR MEI uh, tables uh, formula booklet. So 0.5% significance level. New is 3, so 12.84. So 23.858 is clearly larger than 12.84. So the result is significant, so we reject H0. There is evidence to suggest that the number of marked eggs cannot be modelled by a binomial distribution. And there we are.